Yeah. 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 Give me the words and I got the flow. See, I don't gotta write, I got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yeah, that's called a ghost writer. Jeremiah 5 and 14, that's so fire. Isaiah 14 and when I retire. Out of captivity, I broke the iron. Who that is coming out of Mount Zion? Woolly head, looking like a lion. A thousand men marching with no drums on, no trombone, just boots on. Use our voices screaming out, take care of your homes, take care of your wives, take care of your own. Now we standing out here in the valley of the bones. This place called America, this is not your home. This is like a tomb, place where you died at. Now I resurrected, trying to bring the 12 tribes back. I came on a slave ship and I ain't even like that. Put my neck in the rope and I couldn't even fight back. So Welcome gonna... back to Four Corners News. I'm Officer Daniel. I'm Officer Azaniah. And this is your international news. Welcome back. So, Welcome back. what are we going to be talking about today? Speaks. Hey, man, we got some international news for the people. All right, let's pull it up. Let's signs of the times. Let's let, go. Let, let's pull up the uh, see, see what's going on in the nation. Come on. All hey, right, let's re read, that. read that. Yeah. A Chinese government spokesperson said the U.S. committed evil crimes against Native Americans in a bid to counter reports mm. of genocide in Xinjiang. Scroll down. <laughs> <laughs> Who, are y'all with us back there? Scroll down. Scroll down. In Xinjiang, all right? So so the Chinese government is saying that U.S. committed evil crimes. So now let's see why would they say that. Hey. Go over to the uh, next bulletin point. Go ahead, officer. You know what that, that – that, because I, I, when I read that, I was thinking about scriptures. And you know how scriptures talk about First uh, Thessalonians about the – the, the son of perdition being revealed. Right. The world is beginning to see who this man is. Mm. That's that's what's happening. That's, that's that's a very good point. The yeah. world know who the son of perdition is. They, they know who actually runs the world. Right, so right. the world superpower is not China, as you all think. That's going to be the next superpower. It's actually America. And they have power to say things like this and just be like, okay, all nations are going to have to take this because they know what America is capable of. Right, right, Pull up right. that bulletin point. Come on, read that. China's foreign ministry spokesperson, Zhao Lijiang, lashed Damn, out at the U.S. on Tuesday for its diplomatic boycott at, of the Beijing 2022 Whoa. Winter Olympics, <laughs> saying that allegations of genocide, which China faced over its treatment of the Uyghur min minority in Xinjiang. So I had to look up what Uyghur, what, how you say that word? Uyghur. Uyghur. So it's like a Turkish group, right? So now let's see what, what they're saying, what, what they're mad over. Come on, keep reading. Bring it out. Come on. Fits the U.S. better than anyone else. So well, what? It fits better than anyone else. Hmm. So now keep reading. For its treatment of Native Americans. So pretty much... America called out China on their ish, or, or you, you, you could say, because they had a Turkish group or a take Turkish nation, and it was dealing wrongfully with them, and America called them out and wanted to boycott all of that stuff, uh, mm -hmm. wanted to boycott the Olympics because of the way that they're treating the, uh, what you call it, the Turkish group. Right. But now China is saying, well, you did the same thing with the Native American Indians. Damn. That's a slap in the face. Y'all are some hypocrites. That's so that's pretty much what they're saying. It's saying y'all are hypocrites. Hey, America is a whole out. bunch of hypocrites. And wow. not only that, guess what? Guess who had the nation of Israel into captivity as well? China had the nation of Israel into captivity as well. Hey, you know you know another thing that this thing is telling me? Uh, can I get a script? Go ahead. Go to, uh, go to Psalms chapter 44 and verse uh, 14. Bring it out, brother. Before we finish that. Come on. I just want to read this. Psalms 44 and 14. Read that. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 44 and verse 14. Bring it out. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen. A what? 
a byword among the heathen. A slave, basically, because you, you're being called by your oppressor, basically. He's naming you. Watch this, read. A shaking of the head among the people. Uh-huh. My confusion is continually nah. before me. Uh-huh. And the shame of my face hath covered me. See that? God says you are shaken of the head to the nations. Why? Because all nations understand that you have went into captivity except for the people that went into captivity. Except you Israelites. Book. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow, some way, it just it, it omits Amazing. us that, you know, we didn't go into slavery. So, it's just... It's crazy. It takes Moab to teach you your history. Damn. It takes That's another real? nation. That goes back to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48, in right. one of all things. Right. So another nation is going to have to teach you about your history that you went off into captivity. Damn. If they never revealed it, then you would have never found out that, hey, listen, you're Israel. So now watch this. Because, because we brought out a point. We said that all nations had us into captivity, correct? Right. So go to Jeremiah chapter 25, and let's read verse 14. Let's start. Let, let's start here. Yeah, they point. They just pointing the finger back and forth, knowing that they all had a part in it. That's the whole thing. Psalms. Yeah. Jeremiah chapter twenty-five oh. and verse fourteen. For uh, many nations and great kings no, shall. No no. S- no, 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 no. Pull back up the article. Read the article. Pull. Yep. There you go. The U.S. has been fabricating the biggest lie of the century about so-called genocide in Xinjiang, but has been long been debunked by fact, Zhao said, though he declined to specify what facts. Mm -hmm. He said the diplomatic boycott, which the White House announced on Monday, citing ongoing genocide and crimes against humanity Mm. by Beijing is based on ideological biases as well as lies and rumors. That's going in, like how that uh, critical race theory, how they was teaching that, oh, uh, the Native Americans, they were all come, they ca- they all came together and they celebrated and they feasted. Boy, ain't no way, boy. It's a whole bunch of lies behind that story. That's what he's bringing out. It's actually, it was actually almost a genocide of the people. Mm. So pull back up the article. Let's get some more on that. Come on. Zhao denounced the U.S. for committing evil crimes against Native Americans and said the boycott gravely violates the political neutrality for which the Olympic Games are. Come on. Okay. Unknown. Are unknown. So pretty much what uh, Zhao is saying, the U.S. committed Evil crimes against the Native American Indians. Right. What evil crimes did they commit against the Native American Indians? Go to Jeremiah chapter 25 and let's read verse 14. Jeremiah chapter 25 and verse 14. Uh Uh-huh. For many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of them also. So all nations had the nation of Israel into captivity, and we served them for over 400 years on this side, and not only that, we was in slavery under the uh, T- Tang Dynasty and the Song Dynasty right, right. in China. We were building up the Bring Great Walls of China for over 600 years. This is this is what's going on. All nations have served themselves of Israel, read. And I will recompense them according to their deeds and according to the works of their own hands. So God says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. What he's saying is, the same thing that you did to my people, guess what, is going to happen to you. Because God is a just God. Because ultimately, who does China want to be like? America. Oh, They want to be the next superpower. They want to be the what? The next superpower. Yeah. Go to Second Ezra chapter 15 and let's read verse 46. Because yep. all of this is written in Bible prophecy. They want to be just like America. Well, guess what? You're going to get America's punishment as well. Come on, read. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 26. 46. 46. And thou Asia. Asia, China, read. That art partaker of the hope of Babylon and of the glory of her person. Woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her. Like unto who? Like unto her. Like unto America. That's why when you look at a Chinese man, their original garment that they used to wear, um, their original, uh, the, way, their, the way that they used to dress, it's not like how they dress now. They dress in a three-piece suit and tie just to be just like the white man. Read. That's what happens when they come over here. They leave that uh, so-called Chinese Bring it out. culture. 
They come over here, that suit and tie comes with them. Mm. Uh. <laughs> come on. And has decked thy daughters in whoredom, that they might please and glory in thy lovers, which have always desired to commit whoredom with thee. Come on. Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works. So you have followed America in all her works, and guess that what? You're doing the hell. same thing that America did because America is a hypocritical nation. Go to Isaiah chapter 10 and let's read verse 1. That's because how is America precept. a hypocritical nation? This is, this is what we're going to see. Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. The book of Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Bring it out. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Because they have the power in order to set laws in place. Just like China, they have power to set laws in place. And they're being just like America. This is, th this is how they're being like America. Jump down to verse 5. Verse 5. five. Six. O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. Come on. I will send him against an hypocritical nation. And against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge. So just like um just like China, what they just like China, what they ended up doing, they have power to set laws, they had the power to go against the nation of Israel. Right, right. That's what we're seeing. Right. Nothing has changed. And they they may be they be the, they may be the ones pointing the finger and say, Well, Look what y'all did to the Native Americans, mm -hmm. right? Go to Psalm chapter 83 and verse 4. Come on. Watch this. Psalm Amazing. chapter 83, 83, and I want to read verse 4. Read that when you get it. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 4. Bring it out. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Uh-huh. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So someone cut Israel from being a nation, right? Watch this. Read. For they have consulted together with one consent. Meaning they are all in agreement. Read. They are confederate against thee. And they are all in agreement against Israel. Watch this. Read. The tabernacles of Edom. White man. Read. And the Ishmaelites. The Arabs. Read. Of Moab. Of who? Of Moab. Of who? Of Moab. And the Chinese. Bring it out. They are all in agreement to put you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in slavery. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.